Hi there, and welcome. This is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm on a Moodle site called Integrating Technology, where I'm going to show you a few things about navigating the courses. This is for all the courses that you're taking currently on this platform. The platform is called Moodle, and the version is 5.0. Now, 5.0 is slightly different, so you may find it different from other Moodle platforms or learning management system. The um, theme is Move, and I'm using one topic for the course layout. So let's take a look at it and see how you can manage to navigate it without any difficulties. And of course, if you have any questions, you can use the feedback form on the right, or you can use the support form for questions and comments. I'm going to go into my courses where all my courses will appear, and I see that I only have one. All right, so let me go into that one. As I said, the navigation is the same. First of all, there's the center, there's the left, and there's the right. The only difference from previous <laughs> Moodle versions is the following. When you go into a section, and you can see all of them here in the center, they're in blue. I'm going to go into the first one, Introduction. When you go into them and scroll down, you'll see lots of activities, to-do activities, with a grade, without a grade, just to view. Let's see if I've got a view here. I don't. They're all to do. And then I go into um, one of these for, oh, this one should be a view. Yeah, it's a view. If I go into this one, for example, an introduction, click on that one and notice what happens. Okay, I can see the center tabs. So they're all here, but how do I get back to the main course page? Now, there are two ways of doing that. One is to hit any of these. And since I'm in week one, I'll hit week one. And this is what I should see. I should see course activities, badges, download center, and more where you can unenroll if you are too busy or you can stay. But you can download the course content at any time, but preferably at the end. And the activities, you get a list of the main activities. Badges, you get a list of the badges and your requirements. And as Download Center, once again, you can decide what you want to download and then hit the download, create zip file. And it's yours. Isn't that amazing? Yes. And of course, this is um, a paid course, but all the other courses are completely free. All right. So once again, one way of getting back, and notice this is my default page. This is what all of them should look like if I go in, into any of these. But if I scroll down and go down into any of the activities, let me continue here to maybe week two and see if I, yes. Uh, in week two, I can go into, say, this activity and notice what happens. I get the center, but I don't get the course that I had at the top. So once again, I can go back to week one or two or any of these others, and then I'll get the minute I do, I will see course activities and so on. Or I can go, let me go back here into a part of this section. And this time, I'm just going to go into this. Okay, there's a lot of information there. You shouldn't worry about that. But once again, notice I don't have anything at the top there. So I can go to back here to week one general tab. Or I can go to the left at any time, and this is called a course index, and then I can just follow it going up and down. In other words, I can go to uh, the weekly badges, which is the section in the center, and notice what happens when I do. It turns into weekly badges. Now it's weekly badges. If I go on to, um, for example, week two, and right now, everything is hidden in week two. You can't really see it. You can only see week one. And week one has two parts. So if I'm, for example, the role of Moodle 5.0 administrator, I will go into 
that. Notice it coincides. Whatever's on the left coincides with what's, what's on the right. If I want to get to the main page with the uh, course at the top left, I click on one of these, doesn't matter which one, and then there's the course at the top. Okay, so this is how it is right now, but things will change, no doubt. And what's called the breadcrumbs will be back, so I don't have to do things this way. But for now, this is how we do it. Not only you, but I also do it this way. Again, this is a Moodle admin. That is only for experienced Moodlers who have created Moodle courses, have managed Moodle sites, and now want to be the admin of a Moodle. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions and enjoy Moodling. There are a few courses you can take every May. One is for complete beginners called Moodle MOOC, Develop Activities and Resources. And then there's another one called Develop a Moodle Course. For both of these, you go into another place, another site, and you have your own Moodle course to practice on. And then there's a manager of a Moodle site where you also go to another site so you can practice your manager rights on a Moodle site all on your own with the, my help, of course. But that's what the course is about. It's about practicing manager rights. So we've got learning about activities and resources with AI. So you learn to develop these. And then there's... Um, learning to create a course using AI and Moodle activities and resources, then managing a Moodle site. And then finally, what is not free, and that's the only course right now that's not free, and that's uh, admin of a Moodle site and ChatGPT. So let me know uh, if you have any questions in the comment box of this video and enjoy Moodling. Have a great day.